atomic mass of an atom. Now, we uh, saw this thing earlier that, you know, if we talk about atom, maybe I'm drawing it a little bit larger, although these are very, 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 very small things. Because they are, they are so small, you know, the weight, if you actually take of an atom in terms of maybe grams, because that's the unit for measurement of weights, okay? So if I consider the weight of an atom in grams, it might weight be so small that, you know, you might just go mad. So let's say, I'll give you an example here, okay? If I talk about the weight of atom of a hydrogen, this basically is given by as 1.673 into 10 to the power minus 24. In other words, if I have to write it down in terms of grams, you know what I will write? I will write zero point and then I will have 23 zeros, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Then this one will move over here, 6, 7, 3. So actually, if I talk about grams, the weight of a hydrogen atom is equal to this many gram. Imagine if I give you three atoms of different thing. Let's say, for example, I give you carbon. Okay, I give you nitrogen. And then I tell you how much is the total weight. Even if you have to speak it out, okay, you'll go mad explaining it. So therefore, there was a need that, you know, we should use some denomination, some basis, some measurement, which is less than a gram, okay, but which also takes into consideration these factors. And that's where the concept of atomic mass of an element came in. But you know, again, when I talk about atomic mass, I need to have some standard of measurement like grams over here, right? Now, for this purpose, the concept of atomic mass unit came into place. This was earlier known as AMU, but now it's just simply written as U. So just like you know, you have grams, it's actually a replacement of gram, which is called the atomic mass unit and it is denoted by U. What this says is that, you know, in case of a carbon atom, okay, now carbon is taken as the basis of measuring this atomic mass unit. Carbon basically has six protons and six neutrons or in other words 12 of them in all right so basically when we talk about the atomic mass of carbon unit it is considered to be 12 units okay so also known as sometimes as carbon 12 atom so it has an atomic mass of 12 right or in other words, one atom of carbon is written as 12th atomic mass unit. If we just extrapolate this particular equation to find out what is the value of one atomic mass unit, U, we know 12U is equal to one atom of carbon. Or in other words, U is equal to one divided by 12, one atom of carbon. Right? So what we do is that this particular measurement is actually used to write down the value of any other atom. So if you have to find out the atomic mass unit of, let's say for example, any other element. So let's say if I have to find out the atomic mass unit of, uh, let's say aluminium. The atomic mass unit of aluminium is given as 27 atomic mass unit. Okay. What this implies is that the unit value or the atom of aluminium is actually 27 times U and U is what? It is equal to 1 twelfth of the carbon atom or in other words one atom of aluminium is actually 27 times heavier than 1 twelfth of a carbon item. Sorry carbon atom. If you solve it out you can actually 4 and 9 or in other words 2 1 by 4 times of a carbon atom right so each of the elements which is there it could be aluminium or any other element the mass of its atom is now written as in comparison to the mass of a carbon atom although you know I don't know how important this is but uh, the mass of a carbon 12 atom is 
is given as 1.9926 times 10 to the power minus 23 grams. And this can actually, this in combination with the atomic mass unit expressed out here can actually be used to calculate the atomic mass unit or the mass of any other atom of any other element.